Going to go for the bold move. Here we go. Oh, oh to the inside of the next car. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, Arava here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, and we're back on a set of Corsa, and today we are racing Formula 1 cars around Donington. This one has been suggested to me in the past, and I don't know, for some reason we just haven't got around to it, you know, we did a load of these kind of taking F1 cars to other circuits where they're not normally at last year during the first lockdown. I thought maybe we'd revisit some of those kind of things in lockdown 3, as obviously the entire situation once again clearly goes to my head. It, give it a week and we'll be racing boxes once again around Monaco, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, Donington, interesting circuit, challenging one. I've never driven it in a Formula 1 car on any kind of game. I think the last time I did any sort of racing at it was maybe Project Cars in some very low tier open wheel races. So I'm interested to see how the car takes to this, how I take to it. And uh, then we're going to have a race and a race around here with like a full grid of like, you know, 16, 17 F1 cars. I think it's going to be a lot of chaos because it is a very tight circuited places, but it's also very quick as well, so the F1 cars should go well around here. Uh, so let's dive in. First of all, for some bank collapses to kind of get used to the circuit again. Let's see how the car reacts to everything and how, you know, it takes to it, and then we'll see how it goes in a race. And I must say, I don't know what it is. It may be the mod that we've got for Donington. The, the, the filters, obviously, that I've had now installed for a few videos on a set of Corsa, but this is looking really nice. Like, look, the pit lane looks lush. The sun coming from the left-hand side there is awesome. This is going to be a really cool thing to look back on. So hopefully I'll, I'll also show you guys some maybe off-board third-person replay cams of uh, these laps. But let's just get a feel for it. So I sort of half remember the circuit coming down left, right. This is obviously, wasn't it, where Top Gear came in those track day cars. It was this Apex, I think, where uh, they tried that, you know, how quickly can their track day cars uh, go through the Apex and Hammond had that three-wheeler that he just about, <laughs> just about kind of held on to. Then you've got a bit of a, a tighter right hand than I remember, actually, from uh, from when I last played this uh, circuit. Obviously, like I said, Project Cars. I think I think I think I tried it on Project Cars 2 as well, but I definitely remember doing it way back in the day. I'm talking like 2014 on Project Cars 1. Uh, in the kind of F3 or open wheel cars. Then you've got that chicane. That's pretty nice and flowing. Kind of Magello vibes there. Uh, very flat chicane, I must say. So that should be okay. And then a hairpin here. I'm going to miss that break point a few times. And there's a lot of on this here there. But to be fair, stayed in third gear by mistake. But sharp hairpin. And we come through to another long left-hander again. Ah, oh, wow. I could, literally, where are the break points? The break markables are not very large around here. Then through to the final corner. And there we go. So let's see. Can we drive this now with a bit more anger? Maybe. Turn one. What are we saying? Fifth gear? Ah, not all. Fourth gear on the exit, I would say. Right, so so far, I have spent a lot of the time on the grass. I can't lie. But you live and learn. That's the whole point of going around and hot lapping circuits you don't know yet. You get a feel for it. Where are we going? I'm going to go to balance high as well. That point? No. Okay, not that point. Is that... Wait, hang on. That, that, that bit of mud there, that was... The, the way that was made on the grass seems like loads of people. The, the way the, the person's texture is like, oh yeah, a load of people go straight on there. Maybe even the AI. And then here, uh, I'm... Ah, that's very, very difficult. That's so difficult. Also, I think the, the last time I did Donington was a different version. I think this is the full GP version, whereas I think I did the national one with the uh, smaller F3 car, so makes a bit more sense. Right, that is actually a lot tighter than I always think it is. Fourth gear, probably could go fifth, maybe if I'm being a bit over-aggressive. And I get the timing right! Oh, 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 that was nearly a fantastic catch! Right, I want to try and get a lap in that looks visually okay. Maybe not actually that quick, but just keeping it, you know, on the circuit. And seeing how the F1 car looks off ball, maybe a bit more. Oof, good. Feels great through there. So good through there. Just one gear down, pretty much. I've knocked off the braking board here. So I'm a little bit wide here. Kept it in the lines. Actually, knocked off the board that I knocked off earlier. Then very aggressive through here. That was. <laughs> This is a really fun circuit in this F1 car, you know. This is really a lot of fun. And then very aggressive through that chicane. It's so flat. The F1 car just rides it. 
hairpin, slow things down, calm things down a bit. And then trying to get this last corner right. Please, Arab, don't bottle this now. Last corner, easy, bit understeery. I mean, it's a very difficult corner in this car. And across the line. I think that was a pretty decent looking lap, at least. I think it's now time for a race. Okay, the usual, we've got a nearly enough full grid. Don't want to have too many because sometimes the game can break and we have too many uh, F1 cars going around circuits where maybe they're not used to or there's just a, a bit of a kerfuffle. I think there probably will be a kerfuffle knowing this game, knowing the AI, the usual stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to restart this, but hopefully not. Five laps. It's a, sh it's a very short and sweet lap. But I think we'll get plenty of action here. And I'm uh, hard to... Uh, I mean, some of those corners that I nearly went flat out at, I think if we can make some bold moves, I think we could actually actually have a lot of fun here in this race. Okay, here we go. The usual six red lights at the set of Corsa. And we're raring to go a little bit uh, brighter around here. I've set the, day to, uh, set the time to be a little bit earlier than we did some of the hot lapping. So the sun is a little bit more out. But uh, let's see how this goes. Nice to be back in the 2020 F1 cars, I must say, by the way. Because they're a little bit more raceable for me. But also seems like the AI maybe is a bit more stable with them. But we get a bit of a tank slapper there. But already getting some side by side action with not just me, but the AI. But look at this. Alfa Romeo keeps his foot in there on the right hand. A bit of a issue is I think one car put a tire in the grass. But so far, some pretty nice and clean racing actually going on. As the Red Bull's there. Look at him go. Oh, he's hit the curb. It's all kicking off. This is what I wanted. This is chaos. Look at it up the road. Side by side. Oh, God. This is a really fun circuit for F1 cars. I mean, in general, fun for open wheelers. Let's see how they take this. Pretty good, actually. The AI actually got also pretty good at taking that flat out. I thought they may have not been as on it as I was. And it's three wide with AI. I'm not even involved and it's three wide there. As the Alfa Romeo sends it down the inside of the Alfa Tauri. And also the Williams car of Latifi. Now we're going to use the AI as a, a brake marker board, basically. Thank you very much. Pierre Gasly, squeeze him out. Up into P12, pretty good start. But it looks like I, I've actually got the AI level at a pretty decent level, it would seem. So let's see if we can maybe make our way towards that top five at least. Going to put this up into uh, hot lap mode and try and get some more speed here as we're losing a bit of touch with the cars ahead. Took turn one quite easy because I'm still not fully, fully sure where I should turn in at turn one. Had to brake check myself there a little bit as we go around the outside of the Alfa Romeo. And he's on the curb. I've caught it. <laughs> that was a good catch. That was a good catch, Arav. Yellow flags, easy. Top end speed, come on. DRS, available at any point in the circuit, really, with this mod. And I <laughs> I try to go down the inside. Couldn't quite make it. Surprisingly, I'm still in P12. I couldn't actually make a move in this Alfa Romeo yet. Now I will. Down the inside of the hairpin. Seems to be a popular spot with the AI as well as we dive down the inside of two cars there. Try to get the Williams. Couldn't quite do it. I've got to make sure I start using DRS everywhere like the AI are doing because it's kind of open rain, isn't it, with these AI. He's still there. Oh, he's still there. He's still there on my outside, Latifi. Madness. Madness. Right, where are they breaking? Okay, here and then turn it in. That's better. Get the turn in. Oh, oh Verstappen. Verstappen spun us. Or well, I spun on Verstappen. Oh, mama. Sorry, Alvin. Sorry. Right, we're restarting Shock Horror, but this time it's a three-lap race, and I'm going to gun for it, and I'm going to see how far up the order I can get in three laps. We didn't make a mistake up until lap three, pretty much, so let's see what I can do in three laps. Now that I've sussed out a little bit more how these AI are taking this circuit, I can, you know, pick out the lines a bit better maybe, but here, that's a poor exit. That's where exactly where I spawn on Verstappen earlier and now this is getting very close this is squeaky bum time around the outside <laughs> this is very very fun this why doesn't f1 come here if we need to if we need some extra races next see this next season if some get cancelled because of covid i think come to donnington why not maybe not as safe as uh, other circuits maybe not listed as an f1 so you know not possible but I think, well, why not? Look into it, lads, because it seems like it's a bucket of fun. As so I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it down the inside of the Williams, and he keeps it through side by side that entire time. Oh, good exit! Come on, come on. Yes, on the outside that was, and then 
Nicely done. Catch Carlos in the last corner. Gasly still on my inside, though. Oh, look at him go. Very good racing from the AI today. What's going on? Are, they, are we sure we're playing a set of course, sir? These AI actually seem quite smart and intelligent for once. As we're side by side with Sainz. And a bit of wheel banging there. But we get him on the exit. But yeah, this is unlike a set of course AI. They're actually reacting to where I am. They're giving me room. They're not taking each other out as well. Which is an added bonus as well. What is going on? Oh! Oh, I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. Kafiat! What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? And now Sainz on my inside. I spoke way too soon, didn't I? I spoke way too soon. <laughs> Still, I'm still laughing though. It's still bloody, bloody great. Right, really quick through there. Oh, that is just, it just feels so good to be able to take a chicane that looks that challenging so easily in an F1 car. Dive down the inside of the hairpin. Going to squeeze Kofi out right out, mate. No, no, no. You're stuck on me now, mate. Squeeze him. Slow it down. A lot of under. Oh, he's still there. My God, this Kofi AI is really annoying me now. Right, last, last lap. Come on. We're P7. What more can we do? Early break. This time, don't get caught up on the Sappen's rear end. Gonna go for the bold move. Here we go. Oh, oh to the inside of the next car. <laughs> this is sick. This is... <laughs> this is a lot of fun, guys. Oh, right down the inside. Oh, back end steps out. Oh, on the curb. Caught it. My oh my, this is, I'm so glad we took F1 car to Donington. I am so glad. Get the Ferrari. P5. Four, three. Is that the podium? Yes, it is. The podium and the Mercedes is next. This is it. Didn't even realise it. Could be the last. Ah, oh, oh, I've taken the Merc out. I took Hamilton out. <laughs> Oh, no. But here we go. The dive. We made it. Last to first. Well, nearly last to first. <laughs> what a race. What... <laughs> What a race. F1 and Donington. Fantastic. And on that note, that's where we're going to call it a day today, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, then be sure to smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're only around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content and suggest to me in the comments below what future of the circuits that F1 doesn't usually go to do you want me to try and take F1 cars to? Let's have some fun over the next few weeks in lockdown. Let me know in the comments below. Till the next one, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.